What's up, guys? <laughs> Great to see ya. <laughs> So right now we're going to a high school called Central Tech, um, which this summer has been pretty much my home base for training. I have uh, been working with uh, an ex-gold medalist actually, his name's Mark McCoy, in the 110 meter hurdles back in, I want to say 92 or 94, one of those years. Um, he won a gold. I'll let him talk to you guys more about that, it's pretty cool. Um, but he's like legit 60 years old, or 57 or 60, whatever it is. And when you see him, you'll be like, what the hell are you on, man? He is just completely jacked. Like, he's got like an eight pack. He's hilarious. No, today we actually just kind of geared over towards like more speed oriented stuff. So it's like all out, well not all out, cause he doesn't let me go all out cause he doesn't want to get hurt, but uh, it's pretty quick. And then we get uh, a lot more rest. So it's pretty much like each, each rep will be at like, I'll be fully rested and recovered and ready to go. So it's more fun cause I'm good at that. But uh, so the hard stuff's over with, which is nice. Um, this is still hard, but it's a lot more enjoyable, I guess. The, the theme of my summer has been to, to build up my, um, what do you want to call it? I, mean, I, I hate using the word cardio, but it's more like um, just endurance in general and just build my engine as much as, much as possible. Um, that way you can go whatever and play. If you're gonna play on a high end, like 20 minutes as a forward, um, you don't get tired. Come the third period, you catch a puck on, on a breakaway, you can still, have your brain working and uh, I mean, obviously your legs don't, don't give out either. So it's uh, kind of the main purpose of the summer. It's been, uh, it's been different, it's been fun, but uh, I, mean, I guess we still got a month left, so we'll see how it uh, pays off, right? There he is. This is Mark. What's the occasion? Oh, well, they must be filming, uh, you showed up on time. <laughs> That's a change. Everyone, this is Mark. That's a shocker. <laughs> I've never seen you on time before in your life. Max wanted to try something different this year, do some conditioning work, which, uh, his dad and his uh, uncle Matt wanted him to do. I think Ty used to do a lot of track training back in the day and uh, used to use my old coach for part of that. And he felt that that really worked for him. We implemented some of that starting slow and uh, we've done a lot of endurance type work, sprint endurance, speed endurance type work. And just now coming into August, we're ramping up into speed. So he's, he's really come a long way in his, in his endurance. At the beginning, he was you know, throwing up and uh, taking forever to recover and now he's as you probably as you saw in the in the runs that he's uh, not only faster than me but he has more endurance than me too so he's come a long way in the last two months we've been doing as I said a lot of what we call speed endurance in the track world repeat 200s like 10 of them repeat hills like 10 of them uh, where a lot of people would be great for three or four but by the time you get to five six and seven they're like on the floor dead and he's been going through this no problem at all. And as we've been progressing, they've been getting easier and easier and easier and faster and faster and faster with less rest. So I'm expecting him to do, to see some really good things, especially in the third period. We're checking his, obviously his blood sugar. It's because not just his training, it's his life. Uh, we're checking his uh, lactic level levels in his blood just because again, diabetes has, it, I, I've learned a lot this summer working with somebody with diabetes because I remember our first session we had, uh, lows for a diabetic is like, you know, in the threes. Get the threes, you're, you know, you're out and down and out. Our first session, he was 1.7, was it? Something like that. Yeah, like I, you know, we, we weren't even working out. I'm like, oh, we're going to have a challenge this year. But just because of the type of work and how that affects his blood sugars and lactic levels. And I didn't realize the, how blood sugar has effect on lactic and lactic has blood effect on, it's, it's, it's a whole uh, different ball game. So we have to keep his heart rate at a certain, well, we had to, now we don't have to, but at the beginning, his heart rate had to stay below a certain level, so his lactate didn't build up too much, so it didn't affect his blood sugars. So it's much more than just training, like we're used to. We just used to train until we dropped. He can't do that, because if he drops, <laughs> we're calling 911. Right. So it was, it's, it's been a great learning lesson, but boy, has his, his body adapted because we've tracked everything. There's so many variables in my life as, as a diabetic that if I'm sick, if I have a lack of sleep, or I eat a different meal, or I eat too late, or something's different, that'll throw off my blood sugar. So routine is like everything for me. Everything I do is like, has to be boom, boom, boom. Um, so yeah, this is my blood sugar and I'm 7.5. Which is good. Which is, good. Which is wheelhouse for post uh, workout. And then lactate is 8.0 and it was 18.8 at the end. So like, again, I mean, at the start, we didn't have this kind of like these kind of results, but when I have this kind of stuff, I know I'm gonna recover well versus if I were to go low, of course I can make bounce back from that or high, same thing find a way around it but like this is like ultimate especially because we're more skate now 
so you need to have your blood sugar like consistent. So now I have to go refuel and eat, recover, get ready to go for the next workout. And kind of on repeat, so that's how it works. when I was four years old. I started with, with judo and um, and then I switched to, um, I kept doing judo but I started kickboxing when I was 13 mm -hmm. and then I picked up boxing when I was 15. I was in the Olympic team for, for my country in boxing and uh, and I started also Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu many years ago and then I've, I've, I've done pretty much every single combat sport mm -hmm. there's, there's in there and I compete in every single combat sport out there. There's this big word that we use is efficiency uh, so that's pretty much what we've been working on for the whole time. It's like making sure he's breathing. So okay, like far away from teaching him how to fight. That's that's far away from what we've done so far. It's always been focused on the breathing, relaxing, and being efficient. That's pretty much what we've been doing. Just we, 2A, Eel A, L A, uh, new song, Who's That, Eel Song, L Song, that's Etra, it's got that, and then is it F O R? Uh, J, uh, 2A, A S, Eel A, L A, that's what I said, yeah. A S, right? Yeah. 2 like, A S, uh, so sorry. Um, and then, uh, new song, no, nous avons, vous, vous avez, uh, ils ont, elles ont, F-O-R. <laughs> I killed it! <laughs>